Yeah, ladies, the hoochie daddy shorts have arrived. You see them thighs? Yeah, holla at me in my DMs. I'm gonna leave you on red. Please subscribe. Good morning, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch and I speak stocks. Today is Thursday, July 21st, and in today's video, I have one play for you and one to put on stock. But before I go into the play, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the markets. The Dow closed up 0.15% yesterday to close at 31,874, the Dow. The NASDAQ, they spiked 1.55% at 11,897, the NAS. Apple closed up 1.5% at $153.04, pennies. Apple. The big winner yesterday, PGY. PGY closed up 130% at $6.20. The stock opened up at one at 275 and never looked back. The high of the day is 815. So from 275 to 815. Uh, the volume yesterday for PGY, 38 million shares exchange hands. Compare and contrast to their average volume of a measly 900k. Okay? PGY. Let's jump right into it. Dave's play today is a SP play. In and out, grab and go, one and move. Do not overstay your welcome. ADXN, ADXN is up 40%, 40% at $1.20. Higher day, 159 thus far in the pre markets. If this one retracts below $1.09, 109 this might be a no go today, okay? ADXN. Uh, the company came out with news regarding a corporate update and a share reduction. Go ahead and read up the news on your own time, your own term. Let's kick the tires. They were a market cap of 7 million. They have a teeny tiny float of 2 million, okay? This one is in the biotech sector, headquarters out of Switzerland. No insiders, 17% institution and shows as 0.10%. They have 2.47 million in revenues. Their revenue per share is <laughs> 0 0.42. This is ADXN. They have a total cash in hand of 15 million. They have a total cash per share of 2.36. <laughs> a total debt, 413K, 413K in debt, bringing them to a nice current ratio of 4.32. A current ratio of one is at par, meaning for every dollar in debt, the company has a dollar in cash. This one is way above par, 4.32 ADXN. Please put on stock today. Seal, S E E L. The stock is up 10% at 107. The higher day thus far, get this, $1.50. This one has a lot of gyration going on. Be careful. Just keep a stock on this one. Seal. This one is in the biotech space, headquarters out of New York City. If this one stay above $1.04, that's a sign of strength, okay? S E E L. They have a market cap of 95 million, a total cash of 62 million, and a total debt of 19 million. Their current ratio is sitting healthy at 6.98. This one won't be going bankrupt any day soon. S E E L. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, guys, at WT for my stock alerts. In the meantime, in between time, always protect your neck. Always say a stop loss. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose. And whenever you see some profits, take some profits because now you see them, now you don't. Dave Natch, I'm out. Boom, bam, make your next trade your best trade. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Webull link below. You will get some free stocks. Minimum deposit required is just a penny, just a penny. Also, pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Weeble. Weeble only the way to go. Pre-market hours trading is very risky. It's not for the risk averse.
welcome back to Dave Newell's channel. Don't forget to hit that like. Please subscribe and share. To listen to their words. One evening he did hear the ox bemoaning to the ass the hardness of his lot. I do labor pulling the plow from morning until night. No matter how hot the day or how tired my legs or how the bow doth chafe my neck, still must I work. But you are a creature of leisure. You are trapped with a colorful blanket and do nothing more than carry our master about where he wishes to go. When he goes nowhere, you do rest in the green grass all the day. In spite of his vicious heels, was a friendly fellow and sympathized with the ox. My good friend, he replied, you do work very hard and I will not be easy or not. Therefore, will I tell you how you may have a day of rest? In the morning, when the slave comes to fetch you to the plow, lie upon the ground and bellow much that he may say you are sick and cannot work. So the ox took the advice of the ass, and the next morning the slave returned to the farmer and told him the ox was sick and could not pull the plow. Then, said the farmer, hitch the ass to the plow, for the plowing must go on. All that day, the ass, who had only intended to help his friend, found himself compelled to do the ox's task. When night came and he was released from the plow, his heart was bitter, and his legs were weary, and his neck was sore where the bow had chafed it. The farmer lingered in the barnyard to listen. The ox began first. You are my good friend. Because of your wise advice, I have enjoyed a day of rest. And I, retorted the ass, am like many another simple-hearted one who starts to help a friend and ends up by doing his task for him. Hereafter, you draw your own plow, for I did hear the master tell the slave of the butcher, were you sick again? I wish he would, for you are a lazy fellow. Thereafter, they spoke to each other no more. All right, thank you for watching. Dave Natch, I'm out. The bank can be a very beautiful thing. It can make you rich and it can make you very poor. It's up to you how you are going to grow on the system. And we are going to teach you, you know, them few steps how to grow on the banking system. All right. Just say, we are going to teach you how to make a loan get approved. Bank record for a thing, track record, or bank statement, or that them live off of. How much traffic I go through your account. So basically, I'm going to make this quick. For instance, you know, say for instance, this one for do. 50 grand in one account, 50 grand in the next account. We are going to use NCB and Scotia as an example. 50 grand in NCB, 50 grand in Scotia. You need, one, you need 100 more grand on that which is 200 grand overall. 